It was really neat having the opportunity to shadow and just hear the direction you were giving here. Admittedly, I look at this and I just see a bunch of dirt fields. Sure, of course you do. What do you see? Uh, well, I see a golf course. Here, look at this. this. There's your green, your bunker, way in there. And the average golfer who can't hit it down there that far puts it down here, then you can hit it up into here, or hit it up here. Or a better player can, can hit it up into here and get the angle back into the green. It could still be up above the slope. The slope could be below it. Yeah, that's right. You know what I want. You know exactly what I want. Why don't we do a little something different here? So if you took this hole and we created, you created a green, you got a low, you got a medium, you got a high, you put it up against that. The one the higher other. you throw it, the more it breaks. Sure. And you can play the whole thing. But see, I think as long as that ties back up into that, this drops into there, come out of the bunker, into the lower elevation of the green, tie into the back, slope come off, go around, and come back, tie in. Good. That's fun. You like that? I think, I think that'll be a fun, fun golf hole. It's going to be fun to build. Yeah, I'm not worried about that part. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> How specific do you find yourself needing to be with direction? Well, I think you have to be able to make decisions. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun because I, I get it in my head and I love the thinking part of it. It was like I played golf. I love to think when I play golf. And I like to think about what I'm doing out here. And I like to think, uh, if somebody hit it here, where would they go? Where can they bail out? How can they put it? How's the fairness of this? What kind of visibility they're going to have? And uh, uh, frankly, I have a blast doing that. I love it. I love short par fours. This this is actually a really nice golf hole and really plays nicely, but I think we can make a better golf hole out of it. And it doesn't take much to do it. The bunker should be kept into the property because the property to me is the beauty here, not not the bunkers. And, I, and, and here we are in a back tee, which is not terrible, but I'm gonna drive up here about 20 yards and you're gonna look at that and you're gonna say, that's not very pretty. I hope you guys like me at the end of the day. <laughs> Too fancy. Yep, I knew you were going to say that after you made that comment back there. Way too fancy. I just don't, you don't need that much fanciness in the bunkers. Okay. Need to be more simple. See, now that one's cut into the hillside and blends out. That's not bad. Yeah, this could be a really nice finishing hole. And you don't want the landscaping on this side of it too much. That's right. And I think it's pretty golfful. 